Hey guys, Andrew there. I'm not going to say there's going to be a crazy amount of talking in this video. Um, I'm just going to be doing a range session. So today is December, December 6th, no, January 6th. So today is January 6th range session. I'm going to go through my, all my clubs. So my wedges, mid irons, or short irons, mid irons, long irons, hybrid, three wood driver, and then probably not, uh, I'll do some short game as well. So right now I got my 56 degree wedge. I'm just hitting some warm up pitch shots. I normally don't have this much time during the day to, to do this long of a session, but I'm doing a lot of homework today, so I had some time to do this. Okay, now after a couple of those, I'll feel pretty warm. I'm gonna start hitting some full wedge shots. These like we got we put the black black mesh up, uh, so we can't hit this. So I can't hit the ceiling. Turns out I'm gonna get get it close to that. Hits like right here. Just in case you want to practice some flop shots or something, it's good out up there. asked if I listen to music when I practice and I do. I just can't listen to music right now because of copyright issues. I don't have headphones in music because I the distract and so I just have it plain out loud. But because of copyright issues I can't put that up. Now saying that if anybody wants to, anybody wants or anybody that's a music creator out there that's just, that wants to supply in music that are one of my subscribers, feel free to let me know and I'll be sure to give you recognition where you deserve it. Alright, so after I've done hitting those wedges, I'll take uh, my pitching wedge, just hit a couple more full swings. I'm also trying not to swing as hard as my short arms, just because I think I'm swinging a little bit too hard at them, you know, sacrificing some of my accuracy. So I've shortened my swing a little bit, but I'm also taking uh, smoother swings. I'll give you a little heads up, if I finish here, playing a regular high draw, if I finish here, playing a cut, and if I finish here, or like somewhere around that area, I'm hitting a knockdown. Now I hit a couple cuts. I'll do only need to shape your shots with your, with your pitching wedge. I still like to shake the ball in there. I should be doing a video on how to hit a cut soon because I figured I was hitting it wrong and that's why it was unpredictable so I'll do another video on how to hit a cut. That was a cut. I can't go as far, but it's gonna stop quicker. Cuts the pitching wedge, so I can just um, hit a couple of them and I'll be fine. I'm gonna hit some like knockdown shots, and the finish is gonna be here. Let's keep the ball lower. I did a video on this already, so you guys already know why I do that. Ball, put the ball back in my hands. It's not too far back, but it's still a wedge. And normally with the knockdown, I'm gonna be playing a draw because a draw is gonna cut through that wind. A cut is gonna kind of spin up and into the wind. I'm not focusing on hitting, taking the club of the inside and releasing my hand to the ball. And by release, I mean just getting the wrist turned when I make contact. I'm also working on staying on my toes more because I think I was falling a little too far back and then that was causing me to bring the club on the inside here more and I couldn't get it out in my position three, as I like to call it. So if you see me fall over this way, just because I'm trying to stay on my toes more, that's a good thing. You may not think it's a good thing, but it's a good thing for me. 
All right, so I'm done with the pitching wedge. Now I got my eight iron, and this is very similar to my L4 range session, except this is indoors. And um, I'm doing a little bit extra because I have the time and uh, the space. So let's take some regular full swings, full draw swings. I'm not sure if this is my last Q&A or the Q&A that hasn't gone up yet. Draw is my natural shot shape, so that's what I gravitate towards most. For a while I was fighting with the cut as my natural shot and I embraced it, but in the winter time I obviously went to getting my draw back. Now I'm going to hit some cut shots. These are more important because I definitely have to hit some cut eight, cut eight irons in tournament now, of course. Right here I'm hitting down on a little bit more. That's because the way I like to cut trust now is get my weight further on my front foot and that just causes it like really hard for me to release the club through the ball. Like if I'm over here, I'm mean, pretty much gonna be behind it and my hands are gonna be behind as well. So it uh, helps me get that cut off a little bit more. I don't like practice cut too much down here because it hurts my hands. Because it's not a grass taking shot, it's literally the foam, the, the turf pad and then this and then underneath that is concrete, so not much shock absor absorption here, so I only hit a couple. I'm going to my 8-iron, now I'm going to go with my 6-iron. And I might have actually sped up some of the, the footage, just because I don't want the video to be too long. But of course I have no clue how long the video is right now, so I can't tell you if, I, if I'm going to speed up the footage. So like I said, this is my 6-iron, taking full swings. And this one I can go right at. Or full out with no, no leaving anything in the bag. Especially if you want to play like longer courses this year, but I really learn how to not swing my irons hard, but swing them consistently faster to get that extra distance out of them. But of course, to get still get the accuracy. <laughs> I actually haven't been practicing in a couple of days. It's because I've been busy with school and other stuff. But today I had a chance to practice, so I'm going to take the mo make the most of it. Now some cuts. And cuts with the six iron is important because if I have to hold it at a pin that's tucked over a bunker, I gotta hit a cut into it. Unless I can hit a draw and spin to the left, but that's not not a very it's a very rare occurrence I would say. So gotta learn how to hit this cut. I don't know why I keep pulling the net back, it's because uh, when we shortened, or when we cut like this piece, this part, the net got shortened and it got weighed down a lot, or the, a lot of the weight that kept the net down got taken off. So that ends up moving too far back and then the block she ends up hitting the wall. And that's not the best of things to happen. I'm hitting some knockdowns. 
And knockdowns are definitely the go to shot of mine. If I'm not striking it well that day, it's definitely a knockdown that I'll be hitting for the whole day. And I just strike it so nicely every single time. It's hard to beat. Honestly, been days when I just thought I should hit a knockdown first of my life. Alright, so that's enough knockdowns. And then my forearm, just a couple forearms. Not too many. A couple full swings and a couple, a couple stingers. And of course, I have no apparent clue where these balls are going right now. Because judging off of how well I hit it, uh, what my club path is, or to me, what my club path is, uh, where I think it might end up. So hopefully, when I get out to the course, whenever I go down south again, it'd be a nice little baby draw. But who knows? There we go. Have some stingers. This is definitely the best shot in my forearm that I like to hit. Put this on every, almost every single par five that I can't get to it too. No matter what the wind, it's just so accurate. And long par threes. I'm getting on my heels again. I'm watching this video, I'll be able to tell, but I can't tell right now. I'm going to tell my contact because I think when I get on my heels, and I'm making contact at the toe, and then I can feel it, so I just got to stay on my, on, the toe, on my toes more. That was better. Okay, that's enough for us. I typically never hit my hybrid just because I don't really use it a lot of tournaments unless it's off the tee or on like a par five and then it's easy to hit there. It's like hitting a four iron and a three would combine. So it's just basically a feel shot in my hybrid, so I just skip it. I have like individual practices with it every now and then, but not a lot. This has definitely been a club that has benefited me a lot these uh, last couple, couple months, especially with the shaft in it. It gets the ball really high, I sometimes don't like that, especially when it's windy out or it's uh, on a wet course. Um, so that's why I might be getting fitted for another three wood. Hopefully the TP version of this just uses lower spinning and a stiffer shaft. It's like I did my what's in the bag. Uh, this is a, a stiff shaft, but it's it's like stiff from like here down to here, and this part is regular. So that part has a bigger kick point, and then it gets the ball flight way too high now. It's just swinging a lot harder. So when I put this club, club and I want to hit with accuracy, I'm gonna swing a lot softer, and that compromises a lot of distance. I did fall over there. That's good. I'm on my toes, not my heels. That's this That's enough for you. Now I'm going to move to my driver. So the camera just stopped on me. I don't know why. Let me make sure it's recording. 
Yeah, it's recording. Yeah, but it just stopped on me. Um, because there's like a 20 minute max set on the camera. I forgot to change it, so. Kinda of serves me right, but it's an annoying feature on Nikon cameras. I don't know how many drivers I hit on camera. I'll see when I edit, but I'm gonna hit like three or four more, and that should be enough. Mom's home. Okay, that's enough. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it. And if you like my new intro video, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Have a good day. Bye.